Hello Stackers365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I've got some quarter ounce gold coins and some sovereigns to showcase. Now the ones on the right hand side are all in capsules, the ones on the left are not in capsules, they arrive like this and that's why I've just left them out of capsules because it's nice to have a little bit of gold that you can pick up with your bare hands and play around with. This is a quarter ounce gold maple really really love the silver maple designs and on the gold it looks just as good you can see it's from 1985 so it's quite an older year one got a few scratches and bits and pieces on it but i paid a very good price for it really really nice coin then we've got a quarter ounce krugerrand here Again, this has got like a proof finish, but it's not in a case or anything like that. So it's got a few scratches and things like that. Again, I didn't pay the proof price of it. Obviously, I paid quite close to spot for this. So really nice piece of gold. Really like the Krugerrands. I've got a few one ounce Krugerrands and I just think they're amazing pieces of gold. They're one of the first bullion if not the first bullion gold that ever came out the Krugerrands so they've got a nice bit of history behind them as well this one's from 2008 really really nice piece of gold so pop that over there moving over here we've got two sovereigns one's from 1988 and one's a and one of the newer ones 2022 you can see in terms of the color of the gold I much prefer the, if it's going to focus, hard to film when they're in these capsules. I much prefer the left hand side, this one here. The older sovereigns, they just look more like gold as we know it. It's a shame they've moved over to this more coppery colour in the modern ones, but nevertheless, it's still gold. Really, really nice coins. And again, this is the 2022 one. It's a bullion one, it's not proof or anything like that. But it's nice to, to still keep it in the capsules and look after them. And then I've got two in blister packs. I've got the Quarter Ounce Britannia 2023. And the reason I paid a couple more pounds to get it in the blister is I'm planning to get the 2023 King as well to go with the Queen. And I just thought it'd be really nice to have them in the blisters as kind of like a collection because it's going to be a special year, 2023 with the Queen on the back, and there's also going to be a 2023 with the King on the back. So it's just a nice collection this year. You've got the security features on this coin still. You've got all the same security features as the larger coins have. Really, really nice looking piece of gold. I do like these blister packs. They just, in my eyes, they add the sellability option. They make it easier to sell because you can tell that it's from the mint they've got the information on the back and it's just a nice way to store them as well it really protects the coin and like i said it was only a couple of pound extra to get it in the blister pack so i thought why not if i ever change my mind i could just pop it out the blister pack but i won't be doing that and then we have a 2022 sovereign again in a blister pack and i'll also be getting a 2023 one with the king on the back the original plan was to get a 2022 with the king on the back but i don't think that's going to be an option now they brought out the commemorative coins and things like that so it's a shame i was hoping they were going to bring out a 2022 with the king on the back possibly towards the end of the year but it's clear that that's not going to be an option now so the next one will be a 2023 and that will have the king so yeah really really nice gold again i've got it in a blister pack just for kind of more collectability so yeah let me know what your favorite piece is in the comment section below and in the next video we'll be moving over to the bigger pieces of gold like i said the one ounces i've saved till last they're going to be a little bit harder for me to get together because they're more split across different locations so you would have to bear with me for that one but it's going to be worth it i've got quite a few one ounce coins so it's going to be a nice a nice video once I get it all together so yeah as always thanks very much for watching my videos and I hope you have a nice day